Next up here at the Alamo Draft House, we have Maurice and Alicia. You guys are smiling wide, so I take it you like the movie? Yes, sir. <laughs> what exactly did you like about the movie? His laugh. Oh my God, his laugh was creepy. <laughs> so, I mean, it was pretty entertaining. It was a good story, man. It's a dark humor, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, did you like the laugh too? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's a very unique laugh. And, uh, yeah. Can one of you do the laugh? No. <laughs> I can right. try. <laughs> try? Go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> know, whatever whatever works, right? Works. Sure. I think Joaquin Phoenix would be proud. So speaking of Joaquin Phoenix, everyone's talking about what a great performance he had in this movie. I mean, talk about what you thought of how he did. Great performance, great, definitely. I mean, if you if you look at the history of the, the character of the Joker with uh, Jack Nicholson, and then uh, I think it was. Well, there's Heath, there's a lot of guys. Yeah, Heath Ledger. Ledger. But if, you know what I'm saying? It's very comparable. Uh, compar it's very it's very good in comparison. So I think he did a very good job. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, one thing that people talk about this movie is that it seems very realistic or plausible based on like everything that happened to him that he would turn into this kind of psychopath. I mean, d what did you think about the series of events that led up to, to him snapping? It, I can say it's very realistic. I can see it happening in real life. Okay. I don't want to sound like a psychopath, but... I but I can see how those things would lead to someone uh, going down that path, yeah. Okay. I, it's understandable. All right. So you mentioned Heath Ledger earlier. Um, how would you compare Joaquin Phoenix's Joker to Heath Ledger's Joker, or is there even a comparison? I think he had to act alone with, without the... Uh, Without a counterpart, you know what I'm saying? So Heath Ledger had the Batman. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, so he had to work, work alone and just solely based off him. So I think he did a great job working by himself okay. and uh, displaying his character, yeah. Okay. So on our channel, what we do is we rate movies on a scale of zero to five. We call it movie reels because we're the real screeners. Okay. So we'll start with you, Alicia. How many movie reels would you give the Joker out of five? I want to say a five. I want to go with the five. Okay, all right. Is there maybe one specific thing that stood out? Like if someone were to ask you, what did you like most about the movie? What would you say? I have to stick with the laugh. The laugh. Okay. Back to the laugh. Yes. Okay. Uh, I would give it a five. Uh, being that I've watched a lot of the Batman movies, I think it was a good opposite side of the story. Right. So uh, yeah, I think the storyline was really good. Great. Okay. Yeah. All right. So two satisfied customers, guys. Thank you for being on the show with the Real Screeners. We'll see you guys hopefully again at the Alamo Draft House. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. We're back with some customers at the Alamo Draft House on the west side of El Paso and I'm here with Sergio and Camila who just got out of Joker. And so, your initial reaction, Sergio, to this movie? Pretty intense, I mean, I loved it. Um, I've been following Batman since the very beginning, so I just love how they tell you the story, no spoilers, but it's just great. It's a very raw film. Um, I definitely did not expect, like, going in what I was gonna, you know, see. Yeah, definitely, so, yeah. What did you think of uh, Joaquin Phoenix's take and performance, maybe compared to Heath Ledger, who of course is a legend, you know? I mean, each guy, it's a great Joker, you know. It's uh, Joaquin was just perfect for this part of the of the Joker, you know, of the depicted era, which there are different kinds uh, of eras as well. So sure. Joaquin did great. I mean, now every laugh I'm hearing is just his laugh, man. It, it sticks, huh? The laughter oh, is yeah, so yeah, cynical. Yeah, yeah. It's very cynical. I feel cynical. like, yeah, um, he did a, a great, you know, he, he performed very well. Um, I mean, you felt the crazy, you know, you're in the audience and you're just feeling that, you know, like uncertainty, like your heartbeat. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. mean, it's you're anxious all the way and it's just, yeah, it's very, it's a thriller. For Man, sure. I, I feel uh, crazy now. I feel crazy after yeah, watching yeah, the movie. Yeah, like like, I need out. to get to a psychiatrist <laughs> this Monday as soon as I it's get funny how it has that effect, huh? Makes you wonder if you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that, that hits upon uh, in something interesting. Uh, online, there's been a little bit of controversy about, you know, whether this movie promotes violence or whether it incites it. Um, but what do you guys think about that? Do you guys feel like this movie does do that? Do you think that it's relevant, you know, that the movie is relevant to what's happening in society right now, maybe? Well, not really. I mean, you have uh, violent video games. You have violence everywhere. It just depends on the kind of uh, person, right? person you are, how you were raised, is everything. Well, okay, on our YouTube channel, we rate our movies using a real system. We call ourselves the real screeners, so five reels is the highest rating. There you go. And one reel is the lowest rating. So out of five reels, how many reels would you give Joker? 
I'll, I'll give five. Full five. Five. All right. Same. I'm still shaking. You guys like this is. Did you say this is a classic already. Yeah. Or, or definitely or, or the, uh, the start of bound something. Bound to be for sure. Bound to be. Yes. Okay. Bound. okay. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts tonight. Thank you. We appreciate it very much, and have a good night. Okay. All right. And so now we have Mila, Matt, and Jordy. So this movie is critically acclaimed. Everyone loves it. I want to see if you girls love it as well. So we'll start with you, Jordy. What are your thoughts on this movie? So I think it was really well written. Um, it stayed true to the character uh -huh. and who he was, and it changed it in the right way so that it wasn't like, oh God, the Joker. Ugh. Like it made it made sense. Okay. I thought it was like super interesting because it was like kind of political in a sense, but uh, it was also like the cinematography to it was like absolutely beautiful. It was fantastic. So I just think, and also um, like the Joker was really good. <laughs> he was a really good actor. Yeah. I, his, yeah. So I agree with what Jordy said about it, them changing it in like the right ways. And it showed the, a side that n not a, a lot of us are familiar with if you get my drift like not a lot of people are familiar with like the Joker unless you're like an avid comic book fan I know I'm not but it gives a good like the other side of the coin so okay. take it wait wait can I uh, go ahead yes so it also shed light on obscure mental illnesses because yes, yes. the one that he had I don't remember what it's called but it's like when you laugh uncontrollably or cry uncontrollably no one knows about that I've never ever seen a movie mention that once and that's really important because it puts things into perspective and while he's not necessarily or inherently a good guy right. that like viewpoint on that kind of like an illness and like what it can do to people right. is like so important. You all mentioned what a good performance it was so Joaquin Phoenix everyone seems to love him I just kind of want to get again your thoughts on his portrayal his version of Arthur Fleck and the Joker. So like with his whole th the Phoenix family are just incredible he I, I whenever I ask people about him they're like oh yeah he's weird but that makes it like really good yeah. for the like performance and I agree because like there was this one part that stood out to me where he kills someone and he's kind of like um, getting like over like the tensions moving down um, the breathing patterns are so well thought out and I just noticed that and I was like no way like no way that's so cool <laughs> like yeah I have only been like introduced to uh, like Joaquin Phoenix and like the Phoenix like family through this okay. movie because I haven't really seen a lot of the other movies but this one like it his acting was like phenomenal I think it was like I agree. it was so good and I especially loved the movements that he would do in the movie like he was very like almost like flexible looking if that makes sense kind of like a Gumby. yeah it was it was really interesting and I, I really I think it was a really different portray and really very true to the character um, kind of acting well everything that I wanted to say has basically been said already um, but I think he didn't like an excellent portrayal of the Joker so let's get down to your overall rating for this movie on our channel what we do is we rate movies on a scale of zero to five movie reels right since we're the real screeners so we'll start with you, Jordy. How many reels out of five? I'm gonna give that a nine and a half no. reels out of five. I can't, uh, nine and a half reels out of five. I get it. Yeah. Oh wait. No. Nine. I said nine. I stand by what I said. It, bre it breaks the barrier, right? Well, yeah. Like the movie Anarchy. Let's go. Let's let's break the five barrier. Who there needs it, bro? Like that. Nice parallel. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'm so smart. <laughs> um, a five out of five reels. I don't want to be as creative as you because. I know. You're cooler than me. I agree with both of them, so I'm gonna give it a six. A six. That's right. not five. Wait, nine point five plus five. That's okay. Our, our, you know what? Our ratings can be fluid. Why not? This was such a phenomenal movie, right? Definitely. Okay. Recommend ten out a thousand out of five reels. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sure that'll work for everyone because we haven't had one person who doesn't like this movie. So, girls, I want to thank you so much for being on the show with the Real Screeners. You have a good rest of your evening. Okay. You too, sir. Thank Thank you, thank you. The real screeners are back at the Alamo Draft House, and we have Eric, who just got out of Joker. And so, Eric, your initial reaction to the movie, what did you think? I thought it was a very different reimagining on the character, uh, with different elements from previous Jokers put all together. This is an origin story, right? So did you find the transformation of 
him becoming the Joker? Was it believable? Did you buy into it? Oh, I thought it was very, uh, it took a very series of events for him to break, yeah. right? So at the beginning, you kind of feel bad about him and, and, and that's the psychology that he was playing around with. I thought that was one of the main parts, you know, he was very fragile from the very beginning. What did you think of Phoenix's performance as Joker? I thought he did a really good job. Uh, I know a lot of people were really doubting him, but I thought he did a really good job taking that character, exploring the depth of what it meant to have these issues within himself. Right. And then he really, really put forward a performance that I think is worthy of what a lot of people are saying he deserves the Oscar. What are your thoughts about this movie promoting violence or inspiring people to go out and do things, you know, like the Joker? Uh, I think, uh, you know, as a society, we need to take this uh, problem seriously, of course. But I think we cannot allow that some people might get inspired by all the issues that happen. How this movie is so atoned to the uh, the issues that are currently going on, right? It takes that piece of information and, and grabs it and explores it and puts it in front of us to really be conscious of what's happening around us and make a conscious decision to start looking more into people that might have this sort of thoughts and yes. maybe provide them with the help. But we cannot allow that to really block what we think is entertainment. Overall, on our YouTube channel, I'm going to ask you about uh, your rating for the movie. On our YouTube channel, we rate our movies using movie reels, five being the highest, one being the lowest. Out of five reels, how many reels would you give Joker? I will give it a solid four and a half. Four and half. It, I, it doesn't get the, f the five completely just because I think they divert a little bit from the original story that the, they want to play with Batman. Okay. I think it's it's that part they want to kind of connect everything now. I think they gotcha. take it as a reboot, right? Because I saw this Joker, especially that last piece, is taken directly from the Dark Knight, right? Yes. But the graphic novel, yes. the second part, right? When he right. comes out and the Joker comes out as a reformed person, yes. I think they took that specific scene and married it with the origin story for Batman. Interesting. Okay, well, thank you very much for you. sharing your thoughts, okay? And have a good evening. Okay. And I'm here with Josh, who just got out of Joker. And so tell us, what is your initial reaction to this movie? Uh, it was a really great movie. I would have to say probably one of the best of the year. Um, the cinematography is really great. Joaquin Phoenix probably had one of the best performances of his career, I think. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, 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 would, I would honestly believe so. I mean, just like the psychology behind the character and how well, well he portrayed it, I think it was really great. One question people are asking is, how does Joaquin Phoenix, you know, fare against the other uh, actors that have played Joker before? Jack Nicholson, uh, Heath Ledger, Jer uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, so, I mean, be definitely be be better than Jared Leto, I'll, I'll tell you that off the bat. Um, but Heath Ledger, I, probably one of the best performances of the decade, so that's kind of hard to stack up against. But uh, Joaquin, I mean, he, he hangs in there, and I think he's probably one of the better ones. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to kind of decipher which one's better just because they're two different Jokers. So uh, this one's definitely more a diverse and psychologically different Joker than like uh, Heath Ledger. Did you find yourself um, sort of feeling sorry for this uh, character and empathizing with him? Yes, actually, yeah. That's I think that's probably why you why this Joker's so interesting because there are times where you actually feel sorry for him yeah. and you actually are, you know, rooting for him at some points in time in the movies. So right. yes, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. So on our uh, YouTube channel, we rate our movies using movie reels. Uh, five reels being the highest rating, okay. one reel being the lowest. So out of five reels, how many reels would you give Joker? I would probably give this a 4.3. Yeah. 4.3. Okay. So, uh, okay. All right. So ultimately you recommend it? I would recommend it. It's really great. It's actually probably, like I said, one of the best movies of the of the, of the year. So it's, it's definitely a movie that you should go watch. Very nice. You know, you should experience yourself, interpret it yourself. So nice. um, the cinematography the cinematography, like I said, is really good. So, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on our YouTube channel, okay? And take care. Sure, yeah, All right. Too. Thank you. Next on The Real Screeners, we have Andres. Andres, when I was speaking with you earlier, you yeah. were just beaming with excitement. Oh, so just yeah, it, talk about, like, your initial reactions on this movie. The movie starts off, it, it starts off slowish, but it moves you around from place to place. You don't know which direction it's going to go. And I felt like that was remarkable how, like, the story just played out. Talk about Joaquin Phoenix's performance. I mean, everyone's raving about it. So, I see Joaquin Phoenix as playing his Joker. Right. So, you know, you got Jared Leto, you got all these different Jokers, you know, Heath Ledger's Joker. You can't compare these Jokers with each other because they're all different Jokers. Right. You have to you have to know that, you know, how he's playing his Joker and appreciate that work. That's true. That's very true because everyone is different.
different and every, every artist brings something to it and of course uh, you know Joaquin Phoenix he, he did some extreme method acting yes. for this movie he lost about 50 something pounds yeah. so if someone were to ask you hey man should I watch this movie what you know what kind of movie is it what would you tell them just generally um, generally without spoiling it right. um, yeah, watch the goddamn movie. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, do what you have yeah, to do. Yo, yo. Go watch this movie. Watch pay the it. price of admission, right? Yes, 100%. Okay, all right. So the last thing I'm going to ask you is on our channel, we rate movies on a scale of zero to five movie reels. Mm -hmm. How many movie reels would you give Joker? Which is the highest? Five? Fuck yeah, five. Five. Easily, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. If you can go higher, higher, right? Pantown. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time, Andres. Thank you. We'll see you around. Take care. Uh, yeah, take care. <laughs>